Happy to see me, Mama. I have, uh, I have to get uh, ready for dinner with Clint. Don't you have anything to say? No derogatory mm. comments about Clint? Nada? Nada. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Is he not feeling well? Ay, Dios mío, ¿qué pasa? My hearing is set for tomorrow. <gasps> is asking for my case to be reopened. <laughs> I'm gonna clear my name, finally. Hey, 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 don't break anything. Oh, hey, 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 save some of these hugs for Harrison here, because I couldn't have done it without him. Thank you, thank you for the help you've given him. You know that I never thought that I'd see this young man again, and then when I did, I never thought I'd see him smile again. And now he's gonna clear his name. I just knew. <laughs> Thanks for a lot of it. But what I did, I did it for all of us, but especially for us and for our future. <laughs> ah, no, 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 you are called Rosa to cover for you. You have to go out and celebrate. Oh, no, thank you, Ma. Um, not tonight. Why? We could cover. Yeah, come on, let's go somewhere. No, um, we can't. I would really like it very much if we could find a way to put aside our differences and just get on with our lives. What a gracious offer, Vicky. Yes, to hold out the olive branch when you think you've got your foot right on my throat. My book will be published, whether you bought the publishing company or not. Come on. You and I both know that book was just an act of malice. It was written out of spite. Oh, it was. It wasn't really. Hey, you don't have to be honest with me. But please, for God's sakes, be honest with yourself. What's your point? My point? Drop it, Dorian. Drop it before somebody really gets hurt. Uh. Where's Meg? I don't know. I thought we had three professors taking their vows today. There is a third. What's keeping Maggie? Maybe he got through to her after all, Max. I gave her my best shot, but I really don't think I got her to change her mind. Maybe your best shot was better than you thought. You said you were going to take me someplace special. Now you don't even want to go out? Something's come up. What? Look, I, I got to go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What is it? It's nothing serious. I, it's just something I have to take care of. Something that you can't tell me about? That's right. Something I can't tell you about yet. Mommy, get her something to eat. I'll be right back. I love your son, but I'm never going to understand him. Well, my dear, the only thing that you have to understand about my son is that he is crazy about you. <laughs> well, that's good, but he drives me crazy. <laughs> but, you know, I, re I'm re I really care about him, and 
There's nothing I wouldn't do for him, including sitting around waiting for him to go on some mystery mission. <laughs> you know, it, it means more to me than I know how to tell you that you stood by him through everything he's been through. Andy, Andy. There's a guy on the roof. He says he's gonna jump. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't worry. Nobody's jumping. Nobody's jumping. Hey, Antonio Lodge, Andy. Para conseguir, amor. You're the one who started this fight, Vicky. You talked Cord into buying Vandenberg Publishing so they would refuse to publish my book if you mean what you say and you want this fight to end, then you will publish my book. You know that first and foremost, I am going to protect my family. Fine. I intend to do the same. Come, Kelly. Why did I think you would listen to reason? Dorian, please. Just consider the consequences, will you? Try that sanctimonious, self-righteous look right off her face. Well, I uh, don't have a crowbar, but maybe this will help. Oh. Sensuality censored right on the front page. I love you. Yes, thank God for my family. Oh, with you too by my side and Cassie. I mean, there is nothing that I can't do. Really? Really, really. And I'm going to go ahead with all of our wonderful plans. We Kramers are survivors. We may stumble, but we get right back up on track. <laughs> we are Terminators. No one can stop us. <laughs> That's right. Not even Vicky and her latest pit bull, Cord. I do think, though, I underestimated them. I mean, really, who would have thought? that Vicky would have the guts to actually stop publication of my book. I mean, Little Miss, First Amendment, please. Well, obviously, it proves that she thinks there are two sets of laws in this country of ours. Yes, one for the Buchanans and one for the rest of us little people. You know, I, I really didn't think that Cord was so, um, devious. You know, Dorian, I'm really surprised about that, too. I mean, I know that he's true blue to Vicky, but... Never thought he'd go that far. Mm. Well, I guess the double standard works for him, too. You know, he was always lecturing me about running a fair business. And then he goes off and buys Arthur's Publishing Company right up from under your press run. And you know him so well. <laughs> well, he did support me when I was trying to launch Melador. And, you know, and now he's trying to destroy it. Well, he's not going to get away with it. No, sirree. <laughs> now then, why don't we go inside, have a lovely lunch, and show the uh, movers and shakers in this town what we're made of? We're still standing, bloody but unbowed. Yeah. Certain <laughs> expressions. <laughs> don't you love this headline? It's great. I thought you'd like it. I was worried about you. You stayed behind at Dorian's last night. You, you didn't come home. Are you, are you okay? Okay. After what your family did to my aunt Dorian, you want to know if I'm okay? I, Marilyn Hosley, by the grace of God, make perpetual profession in this community of the Daughters of Holy Charity. And I vow perpetual chastity, obedience, and service to all God's people according to the constitutions of this community. Marilyn, receive this ring as a sign of the eternal covenant which you have entered into with the Lord and with us, your sisters in community. Linda Lefebvre, by the grace of God, make perpetual profession in this community of the Daughters of Holy Charity. Just like Maggie to be late. I suspect this is more than just Maggie's usual tardiness. According to the constitution of this community. Linda, receive this ring as a sign of the eternal covenant which you have entered into with the Lord and with us, your sisters in community. The Daughters of Holy Charity call Maggie Carpenter as a Bride of Christ.
dear sister, through baptism you are already dead to sin and consecrated to our Lord. Are you resolved to unite yourself more closely to him through this bond of perpetual profession? Are you sure that you are all right with this? Oh, I'm a bit queasy at the sight of that turned worm, Arthur Vandenberg, but anticipation of revenge on Vicky will keep me going. Revenge isn't all it's made out to be, as you have so often pointed out. That was then, and this is now. And what about you, with your dark passion for revenge and your all-out quest for revenge on Marty? I got my revenge, and I got what I wanted. Marty's life is in ruin. She and Patrick are apart. So what have I got? Still this big old aching hole in the middle of my life since Todd died. What about Patrick? Well, you know, I only went after Patrick to hurt Marty, and now it all just seems pointless. I mean, I like him. He's a nice guy, and in some ways I think that we're a lot alike. But now that he's free of Marty, I mean, at least in the open. I don't know. I just, I'm not sure that I want to play games with him anymore. What do you want? I have no idea. Honey, I know that losing Todd nearly destroyed you, but you've just got to find a way to get on with your life. Find, oh, oh, okay, okay, you tell me how to find it, okay? I don't know. You, you've got to, everybody has to individually find their own way, and you, uh, I'm certainly your family will help, and, oh. Speaking of family, where's Kelly? You, of all people, should be grateful that my family stopped publication. It is not just the book. Your family wrecked my whole plan for this summer. Uh, I'm sorry, my family's interfering with your summer school? While I was going to summer school, I was supposed to be working for Melador as a model for the youth line. If there is no book, there is no youth line. If there's no youth line, there's no me in these magazines. That's all you care about, isn't it? That's what it's all about. You just want to be in these glamour magazines? I am so resolved. Are you resolved to strive always for the perfect love of God and of your neighbor by zealously following the gospel and the rule of this religious community? I am so resolved. Are you resolved, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, to strive always to better the love of your neighbor and to spend your life in service of God's people? I am so resolved. I'm Maggie Carpenter, by the grace of God, make perpetual profession in this community of the Daughters of Holy Charity. And I vow perpetual chastity, obedience, and service to all God's people according to the constitutions of this community. Maggie, receive this ring as a sign of the eternal covenant which you have entered into with the Lord and with us, your sisters in this community. <laughs> Tonight. Sonia's tied up, and I, I, I just can't seem to find anybody to cover for him. Would you mind terribly if we had dinner here, and well, after I close up, then we could maybe catch a movie? Hmm? Well, I was hoping to take you to dinner at uh, Babyberry Inn, and then maybe get a room. Mm, well, uh, that sounds like a wonderful evening. But 
Well, what about our decision not to take that step further in our relationship right now? Hmm? I thought things uh, were different now. You know, when Christian asked my permission to take Jessica to the prom, I took it to mean that he and Jesse want another chance, and uh, they want to be trusted. I don't think we have to monitor them like like before. No, I do, I do feel more secure about that myself, but as much as I want you, I, I, I just don't feel like it's right for us to spend the night together. Well, just what does that mean, exactly? That we're not going to see each other anymore? So where'd you see the... Oh, he's behind those seats. Okay. Uh, listen, um, I, I don't know what your problems are, but maybe we could, uh, talk about it, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my... What is this? And I said I couldn't take you to someplace special. <laughs> I lie. <laughs> Welcome to Angel Square, Playa de Los Angeles. Uh, you didn't just do this just now. No, this is the community solution to not being able to live at the beach. They brought the beach to Angel Square. So they got together on one hot summer day and made this. It's fantastic. I mean, I didn't even know this place existed. Well, I guess this is yet another benefit of being invited further into your world. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Please notice. The hot sand. The pounding of the surf. <laughs> the vastness of the Caribbean Ocean. And of course, our opulent cabanas. Oh, this is the most beautiful beach I've ever been to. No. Once I clear my name, I'm going to take you to Fajardo in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Because you're not going to believe it. Hmm. But it's even better than this. Well, I don't know. This is pretty fabulous. Yeah? <laughs> then why don't you take your clothes off and enjoy a hot day in the sun with me? Well, I don't know. I mean, if this is such a hot spot, won't other people be coming up? Mm -mm. I've got Eddie and the boys downstairs making sure that today Playa de Los Angeles is a private beach. Cool. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait one second. Doreen's book had you so upset, I couldn't even touch you. Now all of a sudden she offers you a job as a model and all is forgiven? What about us? That is not what I said. That is not what I meant. You are twisting my words again. I do love you, okay? You do mean everything to me, but so does my family. Doreen is reaching out to me with that job. How can I turn my okay, back on okay. her? Okay, okay. Kelly, I love you. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't want to talk about how our families... I don't want to do that. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your plans are screwed for the summer. All right, but you know what? I have an idea for the summer that is... A million times better than anything Dorian has to offer you. Like what? Like, I just got hired at the community center as a, a, a recreational director. I'm going to be taking over some of Dylan's duties. I, the coaching softball and basketball and little tennis. And, and you were... Joey, look, that's great. I'm, I'm happy that you're filling in for Dylan, but it's what does that have to do with me? I need an assistant. And you were thinking of me? Yeah. Joey, uh, sports... Wedding, hello. I, I, my idea of strenuous activity is putting on eyeliner. So you'll expand your workout. Come on, some of the girls down at the center, you know, you could, you could use a little someone that better connection, you know? You'd be perfect. Besides, we would be working side by side every day. It would just make us stronger and stronger. And our families would never be able to come between us. What do you say? Please. I love you. I love you. And I, I hate fighting with you. Look, if being with you at the community center will bring us together again, I just... I'll do it. Yes. I'll do it. Mm. Mm. Come on, Kelly. Dorian needs us. Kelly? 
Well, I'm so glad you came, Daddy. Well, it was very moving to me, Maggie, to see you commit to God in this way. You've made an Episcopal bishop very proud. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Hey, congratulations. Hey. Oh, uh, look, Maggie, I'm sorry. I, I gotta run. I gotta get back to Landview. I gotta get to a meeting. I'm just very happy. To see you. Great. Thank, thank you so much. You've been such a great friend through all this. Well, I hope to continue to be a great friend. Yeah. Okay. Look, Maggie. Uh, don't worry about Max. He, he's gonna be fine. I know he likes to paint himself as a sworn cynic, but I think deep down he's a hopeless romantic, always hoping for the impossible. Now, most of the time he gets it, but uh, in this case, he's just going to have to learn. It's not going to work out his way. Excuse me? Thanks. Max? Don't, don't go just yet. I was thinking about what we talked about before, about helping others in order to get some peace within yourself. Yeah, I need to do something. Do you have any suggestions? Oh, I do. I do. Um, I've been working over at the community center just until Dylan gets back. And, and he will be coming back at some point in time, but until then, he needs a lot of help. I know Joey got hired to help with the Summer Basketball League. Maybe you'd be willing to come over and just help out with the kids. So I'm to redeem myself through the all-American sport of basketball? Exactly. Okay, well, I don't mean to question miracles, Reverend, but I grew up playing rugby and just reading tons of poetry and basketball. Eh? But it's it's a good suggestion, I guess, but I, I'll try and find something else. <laughs> Please, just, just tell me you're not walking out on me, only the situation. Tell me you're going to be in my life forever. <laughs> Do that? How can I be in your life when I just watch you choose a life that has no room for me in it? No, Max, that's not true. Look, just because I've taken my vows doesn't mean I don't need friends. Come on, we could be friends forever. No, I don't think we can do that. Look, I watched you up there. It was a beautiful ceremony. It made me wish I was more of a believer. It also made me see that you did what was right for yourself. I think you're going to find tremendous satisfaction in being a nut. Look, uh, you're up here in Boston. I'll be way down in Landview. Uh, why don't we just take advantage of the geography, huh? I think it's better that we don't see each other again. Congratulations. Ceremony. Oh, and, uh, but, May, if things don't work out between you and Jesus, Give me a call. <laughs> of course, they want us to keep seeing each other. But even though Jessica and Christian don't need us to keep as close an eye on them, I just. I just don't feel it's right for us to tell them that they can't have a sexual relationship, but then we close the door and go and have one ourselves. A lot of our situation is completely different. Really? Yes. How different? We're not married. We're adults. We've earned the right to freedoms that our kids don't enjoy. Of course. And as adults, we also know what it is to wait. We know how to control ourselves. And I would just feel like a hypocrite if I didn't. I'm not trying to make things harder for you. Your happiness is, it means a great deal to me. But my feelings go beyond holding hands and, and a kiss goodnight. Frankly, I'm getting, I'm getting exhausted and I'm getting frustrated from having to hold back those feelings whenever I'm with you. Oh, I don't mean to frustrate you, really. That's not in my intention, but... Oh, I know, I know, I know. I don't know what I can say. But we've got to either move forward in this relationship or... I think you know how I feel. I don't really know how I can make this offer any better. No. Nor do I, no. I accept. Oh, good. Well, I have some projects I want to work on. This will afford me the opportunity. Wonderful. Excellent. Oh. 
Oh, dear. That's the banner. I'm sorry. I have to call them back. <laughs> well, go on. Uh, we can talk later. I have another meeting to go to. So, uh, thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Arthur. Dorian, as much as I find apologies unappealing, I am sorry. I wasn't looking to sell my business, but my my financial circumstances... Arthur, it's perfectly all right. There's no need to apologize. Some men are led around by their pants. You're led around by your wallet, which explains why everything you do is ass backwards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well done, Dorian. Uh -huh. um, why don't you take another look at your contract uh, paragraph 6.3 subparagraph a hello arthur i see what was that all about i think that was about arthur seeking absolution come to think of it before he allowed Vicky to take away his manhood and stabbed me in the back. Arthur was a man of his word. He told me to take a look at my contract. Carry it with you? Don't leave home without it. Actually, I was on my way to my lawyers to have him look it over. Oh, my. Size rates. Well, you flatter me, but thanks. Um, I have a surprise for you, too. Oh, yeah? I've been practicing. Why? You're pretty good at everything you do. Well, yeah, but this... I felt I could be better. <laughs> printed or else all rights revert to me. Oh, that is so great, Dorian. You're gonna have any problems selling it to anyone else? No, especially now that it's been banned in Landview. I can thank Vicky for all this wonderful PR. That's great. What do you think made Arthur tell you? Maybe it was his puny little conscience. Oh. <laughs> really? Did Vicky and Cord honestly think I was gonna let them get away with this without carefully going over this contract? Well, that is that. Well, now we can go ahead with my plans, Good. including the tie-in with Melador Cosmetics, the perfume line, the youth line, the clothing. What's the matter, Kelly? I, I, I want a model for the youth line. I really do, but it's just that... Um, out with it. I, I told Joey I would work with him at the community center. The community center? Yeah, I see. Long, hot summer days with no air conditioning. I mean, what are you thinking? What would you do that for, in the name of love? Could, could you remember what his family has done to our family? United we stand, divided we okay. are. Okay. I will work with you. Woo! I'm not gonna tell Joey. Mm. Oh, cheer up. Giving <laughs> her the opportunity of a lifetime. Absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me, Vicky. I have a late-breaking news flash for you. Yes, my book is going to be published after all. Ah, uh, yes. Apparently, according to my contract, my book has to be printed or else all rights revert to me so that someone else can print it. Yes. Well, we knew that. 
Your book is at the printers right now. What's the catch? Hey. Hi. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. And then again, no. I mean, I, I'm thrilled to have taken my vows, but I think that I may have lost Max's friendship in the process. I, I guess I'm a little sad about that. I'm sorry. If he lost his friendship because of that, then he's a bloody fool. Um, <laughs> pardon my language. Sister. No, no, don't. I mean, I know I'm happy that I get to start my life's work. And I'm really glad that you're here. <laughs> Patrick, you've been such a good friend to me. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy for you. You found some meaning in your life, and uh, that's hard to do. What about you? I mean, now that Marty is staying with Dylan, how are you doing? Truth be told, I'm doing poorly. I'm really sorry. Ah, that's right. Yeah, one, uh, one second at a time, that's how you get through it, right? And the other thing is not to cry on anybody else's shoulder. Look, whatever it takes. You have so many talents. Just put them to use. Hmm? Come here. Good luck, Mike. Okay. Hi. 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 <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. You've come such a long uh, way. No, you're the one who took the long journey. Believe me, congratulations, really. Oh, oh. Maggie, you were just absolutely beaming up there. Oh. I'm so happy for you. Oh. It's not to mention pride. Well, I was, I was just, I don't know, I was so nervous. I was afraid my voice was going to shake. <laughs> really? No, no. You look calm. You look serene. It was just lovely. <laughs> Thanks. Look, I know you guys have a long drive back, so I won't keep you, but, but thank you so much for coming. It was above and beyond the call. Above and beyond the call. Yeah. Very good. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to miss your sense of humor. Oh. Congratulations. We'll Bye. See you later. Love you. Daddy? Don't say anything about what brought us here. Let's just look forward to the future. Joy and hope. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Maggie. Forgive us for disturbing your prayers, Maggie. But we have something very important to discuss with you. Sun is beautiful. What do the words mean? Like a He's found this woman who has brought light into his dark world. Now she's given him a reason to live. dream and love again. It's like he's been reborn because of her. God, and at long last, there's gonna be a day that's gonna last forever.
changed my view of the world. And what did I do? He made me optimistic. <laughs> wow. That must be a very difficult adjustment for you. Uh, well, it's a lot more difficult than you think. <laughs> You know, I used to never believe in the future because I didn't believe I had a future. But once my name is cleared, I am. Um, I want to make plans. What kind of plans? Oh, I don't know. Plans for home. For family. Reverend, I've been thinking. I'm a wretched basketball player, but I can hold my own with the works of uh, Shakespeare, they'd say. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of the kids at the center doing a play? A Shakespeare play? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's good. I think it's a great idea. I mean, I'm sure there's material they'd relate to, and... Go for it. I think it's wonderful. All right. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hi. What car we ordered is here? Okay. Let me tell you Patrick's idea here. It's a... Uh, do a play with the kid. We got something to talk about on the way home. All right. <laughs> so our school here at St. Francis's is merging with the Cambridge School for Special Needs Children. When did this happen? Well, it's been under discussion for some time. Our budget was giving us great concern. But Cambridge found a way to offer us. Well, what, what, what about my position? I am going to be able to teach here, right? I mean, I love those kids. I'm sorry, Maggie. There isn't a position free for you at Cambridge. But Sister Joan has a suggestion. Come back to Landview with me. For what? To teach. Oh, Maggie, please say yes. We need you there. So that's it? Everything I say goes r right at the window when Doreen offers you your job back? Since when is she the reset button for your conscience? No, no, you don't understand. Look, Joey, I don't have a choice. How do you figure that? The same way you'd have no choice if it were your family. <laughs> we just said that we weren't going to let our families come between us anymore. No, excuse me. My family come between us. Anytime you have to do something for your family, I accept that. But now I have to do something for my family, and you seem to have a problem with it. <laughs> That's not because... What? Say it. Explain. No, you know what? I don't want to explain it. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't want to talk about our families anymore. Catch. Well, I guess you could say there's a catch Excuse here. Me. Hello, ladies. Lord, hi. You're back. How was Boston? Oh, it was a lovely ceremony. Good. Um, do we have a problem here? No. Oh. Problem. Actually, I think Dorian just read her contract and she discovered the mandatory publication clause. So I was explaining to her that her book is being printed as we speak. But there's a catch. You might think so. Your, your book is being printed in Belize. Belize! Oh, with a population of 56. I suppose I should be grateful that you're printing it in a country that speaks English at all. It doesn't much matter, because not even the most avid reader in Belize is going to get a chance to read your so-called novel. Because Buchanan Publications is going to buy up every copy of the print run before it ever hits the streets. You can't do Yes, this, I can. You? And we will. And in doing so, we will have fulfilled all of the terms of your contract. Dorian. Dorian, I implore you, I am begging you, let this matter rest. Just accept the fact that all these plans you had for your book, they're dead. Dorian? Blair? Why those two blue-blooded, sanctimonious zombies don't just walk off the face of this earth, I don't know. Don't worry. They will if I have to show them to the precipice and push them off myself. Yeah. And how will that be, Dorian? Honey, don't you know your aunt doesn't go into battle without a backup plan? Look, I don't want this to come off as a vote of no confidence, but I'm going to call my own lawyers and see what else we can do to 
further the action against Buchanan and Fine, fine, right? fine. I really appreciate your support. Thanks. Knock Why yourself not? out. Thanks. Good. Hello, this is Dorian Lord. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Fine, we got all the chit-chat out of the way now. Do you recall that I once said to you that there would come a time when I would call in a certain very big favor? Mm -hmm. Well, dear, that day has come.